I finished with five under par. I still am pretty sure I won this tournament with ease. Oh, I'm such a sad dinosaur. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Just as I thought. Victory goes to the cross-dressing... <coughs> cross-dressing golfers. Celebrate with a dance. And the award goes to... Star Invitational. Peach's Castle Grounds is one of my favorite courses in the game. It is so Mario-y. There's so many Mario touches all over the place. You're gonna throw up with Mario. Woo! Yeah, but actually you will throw up with Mario because you're gonna love it. <clears throat> Dang my allergies, I am so mucusy sounding. But whatever, it makes me sound even weirder, which may make my videos better, I don't know. You be the judge. <laughs> um, this is a pretty tricky... Ah! Tricky green to hit right here. Um, because you got this pipe in your way, so you want to curve it from left to right if you can. If you can. Um, or, or, and I'm going to try to use topspin on it just to get it up that hill. Because if you leave it if you leave it short of the hole and it ends up in that depression in the green, you're going to have a lot of trouble with the putt. Yeah, that's going to be an okay shot. 40 feet away, though. Ugh. I love how D Diddy holds his putter. Look at that. He's, he's got, like, one of those ultra-long putters um, that, 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 that people use for, like, a pendulum stroke that they go up to their neck. Uh, really, really long putters people sometimes use. Uh, but I ramble as I usually do. And, ah, oh, way too much power. Way, way too much. So I'm just going to have to sell for car. That was kind of weird. The camera was like inside Sprite of Diddy there. You could see like the individual lines and stuff like that. <laughs> this reminds me, I love the Donkey Kong Country series. I really should do the Donkey Kong Country 2 and 3 as a walkthrough. Um, but I don't know how the, the camera would handle uh, some of the darker stages in the game. Which is why I haven't done them. Uh, any <clears throat> done them yet, and that's why I only did Donkey Kong Country, Donkey Kong Country 1. Um, and that's because, as I said, the camera thing, when, when I did Donkey Kong Country 1, I ran into some camera problems, if you didn't notice that, because I didn't, I was uh, really a camera beginner at that time, so I didn't know what I was expecting. I thought the camera would film those dark scenes just fine, but it ended up making stuff like that cave in the ice area, uh, Gorilla Glacier, I think it was called, uh, make it glow very much, and that did not look very pretty, because you couldn't really see what was going on. And that's not my quality standards. Urgh. Oh, short. Oh, that reminds, uh, see that chomp over there? If you manage to put your ball in one of those chomp areas, um, what'll happen is that that'll be counted as an out-of-bounds area, because no one will want to get their ball where those chomps are. That would be kind of dangerous. <laughs> well, I should say they're chain chomps, not just chomps. Oh, and now we got Mount Rushmore Mario over here. They're, they're obviously idols of the Mushroom Kingdom, including Yoshi, but he gets abused so much. Poor Yoshi. He, that's why he has a drug addiction. So now we're hitting uphill onto the base of Mount Rushmore Mario here. Or I'm sure I just call it Mount Mario. And no, I shouldn't have hit it with backspin. <laughs> um, I might be able to make this putt. I just might. Um, do it, do it, do it, do it. Yeah, mad monkey skills. Yeah. By the way, his, his uh, cap there, if you can't tell, it says Nintendo on it. 
he is a fan of Nintendo too. Well, that's only because he's a Nintendo character. Um, this is a very interesting uh, aspect of this course too. Um, I forgot to mention about these pipes here. If you go inside a pipe, you go out the other pipe of the same color. Or some pipes just uh, roll your ball through them really quickly. And if you hit a mushroom like this, uh, what will happen is that your ball will bounce in a very erratic fashion. Uh, because those mushrooms are like rubber, and so I do not recommend that you hit those mushrooms at all. If you really want to try and get on this green too, you're going to have to try and get inside that green pipe, or even the yellow pipe on the other side. Uh, but I'm just going to play it safe and just play uh, for the center of the fairway, uh, short of the green pipe, and to the left of it, just so I have a clear shot to the next set of the fairway. And this, this next shot to the green, this is just a spectacular shot. Just just look at the ambience of this shot. There's waterfalls all around here with water coming out of pipes. It just looks so awesome. Um, which, again, reminds me, how the heck do they get out of there? Do they, do they swim up the waterfall? Do they use the move waterfall from Pokemon or something? I don't know. Uh, again, I'm questioning video game logic, so I best not do that for fear of the universe's implosion. So I'm just going to hit my shot down to this lower tier and hope for the best. Um, if the pin ends up at that upper tier, that that is one of the hardest shots that you could possibly have uh, on this course uh, to hit on top of the, that tier because it is very unlikely that you're going to even get close to being on the green. Oh, I didn't hit it with enough power! Oh, <laughs> I could have had birdie there. Well, at least I got it to the hole. I didn't hesitate one bit, and I am not doing too well. Oh, look at the cheap, cheap swing. Woo! They're doing backflips and stuff like that, too. All oh, the cheap cheeps are so happy to be on this course and watching monkeys play golf. <clears throat> I wonder if that's what the goldfish think of us when we're at the golf course. <laughs> well, anyway. Oh, yeah, one of the golf courses ne uh, near us actually has a live goldfish in one of the rivers or ponds that they have, uh, which is actually pretty cool. Maybe you should bring a little fish for them if you ever go to that course. I forgot the name of the course. Dang it! <laughs> so I guess I can't tell you the name of the course that has those goldfish. So. But I haven't been to that golf course in a long, long time. And two under par. Alright, I think things are turning around. Oh, this is a pretty hard, hard par three to hit. Especially when the wind is with you like this. Um, because what happens is, you try, if you hit this fast fairway, you're almost certainly going to go in the water. If you hit the green, you're almost certainly going to go in the bunker or the water. Um, you just got to control it with backspin. Um, did I do something? No, I didn't. And hope for the best. Like, hope that the ball hits a flat spot on the green so you can control the, the bounce of it. But this is not going to do it, is it? Oh! The batsman saved me there. Um, I'm just going to have to hope I get birdie on this one. Just so I can get a good score ahead of the competition. Oh! Uh, so close. So very close. You have done well, Diddy. That is a weird putter stance, I gotta say. Kinda like makes ninja sounds. <laughs> you know, I'm doing pretty badly, actually, but eh, oh well. Even if I don't win the tournament, uh, I'm still showing the course strategy, even if I'm not getting very close to the pin. Because I'm showing you guys where to place the ball on each shot, and I'm also skipping through shots pretty quickly. I noticed automatically with the A button, whoops, I should just be letting the ball roll so you can see how it reacts to the different terrain and stuff like that. But uh, that's kind of bad on my part there. <laughs> this is a pretty easy pit. Oh! Oh, yeah! I was just going to say, that's a pretty easy... Uh, green to hit no matter where the pin location is, and and wow, that was more than what I expected of, of that hole, that was awesome, um, <laughs> for this hole, hit over here, and hope for the best, do not hit the fast fairway, whatever you do, or you will be out of bounds, I have warned you, and it should be pretty safe, and next shot you want to go up the hill, oh, <laughs> I just, 
Wow, that, that, oh my god, that, that eagle shot. That was just, I couldn't believe that. Uh, hit up here with as high trajectory shot as you possibly can. As you see, my ball is laying in a divot at the bottom right corner there. So, <clears throat> that, so I couldn't get as high as I wanted to. But that works. Um, for this shot, you don't want any backspin because of how uphill it is and how short the shot is. Uh, the ball will pretty much control itself on the landing. If you put backspin on, on the shot, um, the ball will likely go pretty far away from the hole. Uh, that's just a little pro tip for you there. <laughs> and yeah, we are in the zone now after that eagle. Woo!